Hey YouTube, it's TechFact9 and today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM version. So let's get started. First thing that you do is download Unroot Galaxy Nexus GSM. It will be in the description like always, so just download that right now and keep watching the video or whatever. Once you got that downloaded, we're going to be entering into download mode. So we're going to be plugging in the phone into our computer. And make sure you have the correct drivers installed, and if you don't, it will be in the top corner right here on how to install the correct drivers for your Galaxy Nexus. So once you got that plugged in, we're just going to be powering off. Give it a few seconds. Once it powered off, hold on to the volume, up, volume down and power button. Nothing else, just volume down and power button. And keep holding until you feel a vibration, and when you feel a vibration, you can let go. Let go. Alright, now you'll be at the start screen. It says downloading, do not turn off target, and Odin mode. So you can just set this aside now. And we're going to be going back to the computer. As you can see, I have a zip file. We are going to be opening that up and extracting that zip file. So just extract that to your desktop. Alright, it's extracted. Now, we're going to open up that folder. And there, you will see. You will see three files. Odin, Odin, and Unroot Galaxy Nexus GSM tar. Just open up, open up Odin. And as long as you have the correct drivers installed, you will see that it is yellow here. So if you don't have the correct drivers installed, please check out that video to get the correct drivers installed. Once you get that installed, watch this video again and you should have this yellow bar. If you don't, just comment below and I will help you out. After you got that done, you can click on PDA. And it should come up right away, the folder of Unroot Galaxy Nexus GSM. You're going to click on that, dot tar, and open, and you're going to be clicking start. Now this will take about 5 minutes, so I'll be right back once it's done. But you can see the status of how far your phone is almost done, going back to stock ICS and unrooting it. Alright, you can see it took about 2 minutes 90 seconds, that's about 3 minutes, and it's passed. So it didn't even take 5 minutes, and before this screen came up, it said reset, it was blue, so if you saw that, it's fine. Now let's take a look at my phone. It just finished rebooting. Sorry about it, I missed it. But I can explain it. It had the little windows and it was all glowy and colorful. So hopefully that's a good description for you guys. But anyway, alright, we're on the start screen. Let's go start. Now, now I'm going to skip and just show you that this is unrooted. So I will, let me just, let me, real, I'll be right really quick and install super user and show you that it does not have super user access. So I'll be right back. So I just installed Superuser and Titanium Backup. So I'm just going to be opening up Titanium Backup and show you that it can't access. I right, said sorry you cannot acquire root privileges, blah blah blah, blah blah, and you can't root it. So I'll give it a few seconds so you can read that. Alright. So that's just basically saying that I can't get root access and I even have Superuser installed so for you people saying but you have Superuser installed, no it still doesn't work because there is no root access, the root permission was not installed because this method will unroot it but it will also clear everything off of your phone. So thanks for watching guys, this was TechFanatic, TechFanatic on how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM unlocked version. And if you enjoyed this video, if you found the video helpful, if you liked it or anything like that, Please don't forget to subscribe because it does help me out a lot. Thanks guys and appreciate it.